Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Classified Captures. Thrills, excitement, and jump scares are all I promise you today. Without wasting too much of your precious time, let's jump right into it. You might want to hold on to your adventure hats because it seems the sewers have become the newest chapter in the book of strange sightings. The YouTube crew embarked on a sewer expedition, but ended up coming across a creature straight out of the Mesozoic era. The sewer-dwelling enigma zips by, revealing itself as a creature that wouldn't be out of place in a dinosaur documentary. Are we witnessing a secret society of urban dinosaurs, or did a time-traveling T-Rex take a wrong turn and end up in the wrong millennium? Although we may never have the answer to this, my money is on the first. What about you? Next, we bring you something from the mysterious of the deep blue. So you've got this intriguing footage from the ocean. And what's the star of the show? A creature that looks like a snake gracefully slithering through the waters. Now, the ocean has a knack for throwing us curveballs, and this seems like one for the marine cryptid collection. As for what kind of sea monster this might be, it's a bit like playing detective with only a few puzzle pieces. Could it be a rare and exclusive sea serpent making an appearance, or perhaps a new species yet to be officially discovered showing off its underwater acrobatics? It's hard to say because I'm not a marine wildlife expert, but I bet that whatever this is, it's something I wouldn't want to be playing around with. Gather round, O oh ye nature enthusiasts, because we've got a circus act straight from the woods. Some hikers in the woods came across this spectacle, a leaf floating in mid-air. I mean, we could attribute the levitation of the leaf to the wind, but there's no sign of the wind making us believe that there could be more to this. Some keen observer suspected that it could be a silkworm or a spiderweb delicately holding up the leaf in a nearly invisible embrace. While that sounds logical, it's hard to prove or disprove because we literally can't see it. Nature, it seems, always has a trick or two up its sleeve. What's your take on this leafly ballet? This next tale takes us deep into the heart of the unknown. While camping in the woods, a man began to hear strange noises and decided to investigate. He set up trail cameras in the area, hoping to capture whatever was making the noise. When he retrieved the trail cam device, he was shocked at what he saw. There, roaming in the woods, was this strange creature. It's a humanoid creature with a face that almost looks like a skeleton. The posture of the creature was like the zombies from The Walking Dead. Some members of the paranormal community believe that this could be a skinwalker, while others suggested that it is a zombie. But it could also just be a person in a costume playing a prank. Given the limited visibility, we can only speculate. As to what this creature is, we cannot say for sure. Can you? It's been a while since we've had this, but thought it might be the best time to have it returned. This is the bonus segment where you get to tell me what it is that we're dealing with. Once you believe you have an answer, just type it in the comment section and we'll send a shout out to whoever has the first right answer. So, what is this? If you know the answer, you know what to do. Start your answer with the word bonus so we can easily find it. Tell us what the creature is and why it looks the way it looks in the capture. All the best. Guess what the sea tossed our way this time. Brace yourself for this epic capture from Russia. These men stumbled upon a colossal crab that made them question life. I mean, we're talking about a crab so massive it could probably serve a seafood feast for the entire neighborhood. 
crab is black with spikes all over its legs. Seeing this even on screen made my heart sink. Are we dealing with some mutant crab species, or are there mad scientists concocting supersized creatures in a secret underwater lab? While I want to believe it's one of these, there's also the probability of it not being real. I mean, how else do you explain the crab not attacking despite them being so clean? In our next footage, the sky, which has been a canvas of endless intrigue, unveils yet another of mysterious crafts. Enjoy. Do you see it? Unusual crafts projecting beams of light into the sky. What's intriguing is that these lights aren't confined to the crafts. Instead, they extend across the entire visible expanse. Before hastily forming conclusions about this mesmerizing light display, let's carefully explore the myriad possibilities of what it might signify. There are some who think it's nothing more than an aero display from the aviation team. While it's nothing like we've ever seen, it's still a possibility. There are also some who think this could be dogfighting. That is, when planes are engaged in serial combat. If that's the case, then it's certainly dangerous for the people standing around and filming. There's not much context on the footage, so we can't tell what is really going on here. What do you think, though? If you thought that was weird, you might want to hold onto your feathers, because we've got a bird breaking all the rules of avian physics. We know you've seen birds fly, but have you seen them do this? Now, this isn't your typical bird flight routine. No, sir. This bird's got moves that could leave David Blaine scratching his head. The feathered creature gracefully takes one step at a time so calmly like it's a normal thing to do. It's as if there were invisible stairs in the sky. Is it a case of feathered magic or could this be an elaborate hoax to make fun of us? While I want to believe something like this is possible, it clearly has to be edited. It can't be real. Or can it? Well, buckle up for this tale of someone who seems to have a direct line with destiny and death himself might be scratching his head in confusion. While crossing the road to meet up with the man filming her, a car came crashing toward her but stopped abruptly at her feet without causing any damage to her. It seems she's not aware that she just escaped death because she just walks on like nothing happened. On the other hand, let's take a look at the car. The car seems to have crushed into an invisible wall because the hood of the car was messed up. Did she have an angel protecting her she couldn't see, or was there something else at play? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section. On that note, if you still haven't liked, commented, or subscribed to the channel yet, please do so now. It really helps us out a ton and gives us the opportunity to make these videos for you. So please do so and share this video with your friends and family. Thank you very much. Animals have their natural habitats, so it's sometimes curious to see them in places where they're not supposed to be. In this footage, for instance, taking in a sewer pipe, an unexpected creature was spotted nestled in the sewers. An alligator. Alligators are known to live in fresh water, swamps, marshes, or lakes, so how did it make their way into the sewer? At first glance, you might think this gator took a wrong turn at the swamp, but considering its size, it likely got swept into the sewers during some wild water escapade. If aliens were among us, I believe they would be hiding among us or camouflaged somewhere like the skies, and this footage right here is why I'm so sure of this theory. Someone filmed a rather odd cloud floating rather closer to the earth than the other clouds. It looked much darker than the other clouds and moved at a very fast pace. Upon zooming in, the cloud appears to be connected to some kind of machine. I'm pretty sure that this is some type of alien spy tech, but they don't seem to be doing a good job hiding it because the clouds look so uncloudy. It seems that humans cannot have a peaceful moment of fun without something strange popping up. 
and I'm sure the owner of the footage could not agree more. A family went out into the woods to have some fun in the outdoors. While they were all letting loose and having fun, they spotted an uninvited guest in the woods staring at them. When the intruder noticed it had been found out, it began to crawl toward them aggressively. At first, they thought it was a wild animal, but when the creature began to move, to their horror, the creature looked unlike any creature they had ever seen. People who saw the footage say it could be a dogman. What are your thoughts? Humans have been on Earth for thousands of years, yet there are still some things that we cannot explain and have not figured out yet. Our next footage is one of those. A man observed a ball resembling a flame descending from the sky with a fiery tail trailing behind it. What could it possibly be? The potential explanations are as vast as the night sky. It might be a meteor performing its fiery swan song as it streaks through Earth's atmosphere. Alternatively, it could be a stray piece of space debris opting for a spectacular light display during its descent. Now, while scientists might have a field day speculating about its celestial origins, for the rest of us, it's a gentle reminder that, despite our technological prowess, the universe still has a few tricks up its sleeve that leaves us in a marvel. Before you watch the next clip, could you please hit the like button, subscribe, and even drop a comment if you haven't already. It goes a long way to make it possible to create more videos for you. Thank you for doing so. Moving back to the day's episode, humans often think that they're very creative and have a better understanding of everything, but this footage might just humble you. Here we have an animal on a table. My question is, what animal do you think that is? I know someone will say it's an absurd question because it's obvious we're looking at a dog, but wait until the creature moves. See, I got you, that was a white cat. It just had some dark spots on its back that made it look like the head of a dog when lying down. I bet this cat could be lying down among dogs and they would not even notice. This is like the premium version of a body makeover. A chameleon could never. In this footage, we can see two raccoons on the ground and a deer floating in the air. Seems the camera captured the image at the right time. What do you think was happening when this photo was taken? Could it be a secret woodland talent show where the deer is auditioning for a role in Santa's sleigh, aiming to be the next Rudolph? Or perhaps it's just a classic case of a levitating deer casually showcasing its supernatural powers to a pair of bewildered raccoons. Now, before we dive into the realms of conspiracy theories or animal shenanigans, let's have a little fun. Drop your wild and whimsical interpretations in the comments below. Ah, the extraterrestrial saga continues, this time with a dash of mystery from the Philippines. In the sky, there appear to be some disc-like looking things in the sky, and there are a lot of them. If you're wondering what they are like we are, know that the possibilities are as diverse as a galactic buffet. On one hand, it could be a fleet of cosmic cruisers making a pit stop in the Philippine skies. On the other hand, there's the chance that it's a clever optical illusion playing tricks on our terrestrial minds from the confines of the office. What do you think though? If you think what you've seen so far has been wild and bizarre, prepare to be amazed by the mysteries of the ocean. While in the waters, this diver came across a pool of water in the ocean. I don't understand how this works as it's messing with my brain. Is this some sort of optical illusion or is there something more at play here? The ocean is one of the most mysterious places in the world that still has more of it yet to be thoroughly studied and researched. This could just well be a phenomenon we're not familiar with. Anyone know what's happening here? Please do explain in the comment section.
Next, let's take a look at a wonder that happened on Troutbeck Lake, England. A family visited their holiday home, but it seems that vacation had a lot more installed for them than they had planned. There on the fields were hundreds of sheep frozen in place. They'd been stuck like that for hours, and the spectators started to get concerned. The shepherds in the area said it was no cause for alarm because this was nothing unusual. They said that this could have been the result of the temperature change. They'd given their answer, but this scene here makes me believe that there is something curious going on. What do you think is happening here? Personally, I thought it was some voodoo magic, but after a little research, I found out that he was preparing puffed rice, an Indian delicacy. Basically, what he's doing is placing rice in hot sand, causing it to expand. Afterwards, the puffed rice is carefully collected and any residual sand is sifted out. This method is akin to the process of making popcorn. It's a traditional practice, especially in India, where it goes by different local names like Chamuri or Puri in certain areas. It's a harmless and widely used ingredient in various delightful recipes. I don't know about you, but all of a sudden it's something I want to try. Have you ever had to turn your neck in an awkward position to look at something? Well, this image, which surfaced in the year 2017, is the visual representation of that action. The deer's neck is so awkwardly positioned that everyone thinks it might be a Photoshop. Others in the paranormal community, however, do not share this sentiment. They believe that there could be something more ominous happening here, and that perhaps the creature could have been in the transformation phase when the picture was taken. What do you think? Is it real, photoshopped, or some sort of demonic transformation? Let us know in the comments section. I mean, the footage is dark. The animals in question are on the darker complexion site, and of course, the actions of the actors are also dark. In the footage, we see a skunk trying to get some water by the riverbank. All seems well and relatively quiet until a possum arrives. Typically, these creatures avoid others and mind their own business, but for some odd reason, this possum decides to push the skunk into the river. Talk about being petty. If someone told me I would ever see a skunk and a possum interact like this, I wouldn't have believed it. But here we are, and there it is. Proof that the wild is truly unpredictable and fascinating. Thankfully, we have these trail cams to capture these rare moments and keep us updated on the wonders of nature. This unsuspecting moose was peacefully going about its business at night when a pair of luminous eyes suddenly manifested behind it. The eyes emit an airy glow from the trees situated behind the moose. The trail camera's owner, who captured this footage, was genuinely intrigued and utterly baffled by the sudden appearance of those eyes. Considering their significant size, it's rather uncommon for any animal to stalk a moose. The primary predators of moose, such as wolves and grizzly bears, typically target moose calves due to the substantial effort required to bring down an adult moose. This further deepens the mystery and leaves us with a myriad of unanswered questions. Who do those eyes belong to? Could we be dealing with bears or perhaps wolves? While these explanations might seem logical, the paranormal community begs to differ. In fact, many in the community are swaying toward the intriguing possibility of the creature being a Bigfoot. What are your thoughts, though? Of course, we couldn't leave out a segment on Bigfoot, but this time, instead of presenting Bigfoot itself, we're bringing you evidence of its existence. Ready? Just watch. In the footage, individuals are seen stepping into unusually large tracks resembling a massive foot. And here's the twist. This wasn't just a photo-taking spree. These pictures were actually taken by individuals and submitted to the park ranger's office, believe it or not. These images originate from Canyonlands National Park, and if you're familiar with that area, you know it's not a place known for housing giants. Many individuals, including those who sent in the pictures, believe we are dealing with a Bigfoot. 
Can you really blame them? After all, how many creatures can you name that are large enough to have feet of that size and weight, leaving such deep imprints in the soil? None, I presume. So if it's not a Bigfoot, what do you think could have made those tracks? Do you believe in the existence of the dark creatures of the night? If your answer was no, then how do you explain what was caught on this trail camera late at night? The owner of this trail cam had set it up hoping to capture wildlife, but as you and I know, it doesn't always turn out like that, and this is one of those circumstances. In the trail cam footage, we see the shadow of a creature in the grass. Although the creature is out of frame, its shadow is not. All things being equal, this shouldn't be a problem, but taking a closer look at the silhouette of the creature, the owner of the camera couldn't figure out what animal it was as it didn't fit any of the wildlife in the area. To make matters worse, the footage ends as soon as the creature walks into frame. Naturally, this makes him apprehensive and causes his imagination to run wild. Do you have an idea what we could be looking at? Have you encountered a similar situation? Please tell us in the comments section. Storks are quite frankly one of the most magnificent creatures of the sky. Not only are they graceful in the sky, but they also have an average lifespan of about 30 years. These birds with their long necks and legs are commonly found in wetlands and shallow waters where they can hunt for food. That's what makes this footage so curious. In this footage, we see a stork with a large fish in its beak in what appears to be a residential area. It's barely able to even hold it at all. This gives me the impression the bird did not hunt that fish on its own. Had it stolen it or had it simply been given it? Tell me what you think in the comments section and don't forget to add if you had any personal experiences with these birds. We'd love to hear from you. A humanoid white rabbit is captured standing directly in front of the camera donning a white top. Although Zootopia is a work of animation and far from reality, this trail camera image nudges the thought that humanoid animals might be concealed in the shadows. As enchanting as it is to imagine, a world where rabbits stroll around in stylish attire, we're dealing with a simple truth here. This isn't a fantastical humanoid creature. No, nope, no magic here, just some good old-fashioned costume fun. It's all in the name of imagination. A clever someone decided to don a rabbit costume and give us all a chuckle. We're sure the costume's individual noticed the trail camera and wanted to mess around with its owner. But you and I are much more intelligent than that. We know there's nothing magical or paranormal happening here as much as we'd love that. What would you have done if you were the owner? Amidst the haunting remnants of the Chernobyl disaster area within the decaying walls of an abandoned structure emerges a truly unexpected sight. A word of caution, what you are about to witness is not for the faint-hearted. Within the confines of an abandoned shelter, amidst relics of a forgotten era, emerges an enormous pink entity emanating an eerie, vicious aura. As I witnessed this otherworldly spectacle unfolding, a whirlwind of possibilities surged through my mind, catalyzed by memories of strange wolf-like figures I've encountered before. But let's return to the current tale. What in the irradiated realm could this aberration be? A vision of pink hues intertwined with elongated appendages boasting an astonishing magnitude. Could it be a denizen of the irradiated depths? Is it a colossal squid, or maybe a mutation, twisted, sense-deprived octopus? I might be jumping ahead. Remember, this is Chernobyl, and none of these creatures are indigenous to the region. Could it be a mutated earthworm, perhaps? All this speculation has left me quite dizzy. What do you think it is? I'd like to hear your thoughts, because frankly, I can't make out anything. Unless, of course, the footage is fake. This picture surfaced on the internet in 2019. It's an unclear photo of a black-furred creature standing by a tree about six to seven feet tall. As usual, this caught the attention of the paranormal community, which wasted no time investigating the photo with the mystery animal in it. To do this, they enhanced the dark and blurry photo, after which they were ready to go. 
Despite sharing many features with the black bear and apes, the mystery creature was not at all similar to these animals when compared side by side. For instance, the creature lacked the pointed nose and snout of a bear. Its arms were also way longer than that of a bear. When it came to the ape, the comparison didn't fare any better. Based on the results, it became evident that they were not dealing with either of these animals. What then were they dealing with? It certainly had to be Bigfoot. What do you think? We know what happens when predator and prey meet, and we even know what happens when apex predators like lynx and coyotes also meet. But what happens when creatures we consider prey meet each other? Well, there's certainly not going to be a universal answer to this question thanks to this trail camera. We know what happens when possums and skunks meet. In the footage, we can see a skunk get very defensive as the possum gets closer and even goes on to attack several times. Possums are naturally docile animals, so we don't see this particular one fight back or attack. However, that changed with the skunk's last attack. The possum has had enough and it switched from being docile to aggressive. It launched toward the skunk and in a split second body slammed it and then briefly sat on top before getting up. If I was the skunk, it would immediately register that this was simply beyond me. The skunk realized that things quickly escalated beyond what it could handle and proceeded to do a tactical retreat. I mean, it retreated with its tail erect, occasionally showing its backside to the possum. The skunk was probably saying something like, I have a secret weapon and I'm not afraid to use it. Whatever the case, the possum was clearly not interested and was simply glad to have gotten rid of the bully. This particular trail cam video was awesome for a number of reasons. The obvious one was the slam, of course, but it also showed a side of these creatures that have seldom been documented. The two species are hardly aggressive toward each other, which makes this particular footage very interesting. I know I've already used the word today, but this next footage is the actual definition of the word. Just have a look. What we have here is an utterly bizarre sight, a peculiar object dangling from a forest branch. It resembles a skin-like pouch of sorts. As though the sight of that thing was odd enough, a head peers out of it. While we may be tempted to unravel the riddles of the natural world, one thing's for certain. This peculiar creature doesn't quite fit the mold of a domestic companion. In fact, it doesn't fit that of a wild animal at all. I know you, our audience, have a keen eye for detail when it comes to animals, and I believe that you could perhaps help decode what's happening here. Looking at the image again, a part of me doesn't feel that the creature in person is alive. I mean, look at those eyes. They don't blink, nor do they look like they have life in them. Perhaps it's just my ignorance and skepticism at play. So I look to you, sirs and moss. What do you think we are dealing with here? Please enlighten us. We'd really like to know. A lady got in touch about some weird creatures from her garage. She stated they were birds, but she felt they might be mutated or something. Naturally, we're excited to see them. Confused at first, we were convinced they must be mutated creatures or perhaps even alien birds, given their oddly human-like size. Excited to publish the scoop, we delved into research and what we discovered is truly surprising. These things are actually normal. Yes, my friends, they are normal. This is what baby barn owls actually look like. They're only weird because they haven't gotten their feathers yet. Who knew? The confusion about them being human-sized stems from the perspective of the capture. Thank God I found out. I'm pretty sure you would have roasted me alive for calling it alien. Thank God. Sorry to disappoint those policing my animal names at Al. I had it right this time. And to those who learned something new, you're welcome. In this footage, this coyote doesn't get attacked. Instead, the perceived prey runs from it. Although the relationship between the two is complex, there's no way a single raccoon would survive against a coyote. It'll essentially become its prey. It's therefore no surprise that the raccoon started climbing up the tree once it spotted the coyote coming. It's not taking any chances. 
Unlike our curious friend from earlier, this little guy here might have mastered the art of manipulating gadgets because the raccoon looks to be posing for a selfie using the trail cam. I've learned to expect a lot of things from these raccoons over the years, but a trail cam selfie isn't one of them. Watch as it looks straight into the camera with two majestic bucks grazing in the background. It takes creativity to a whole new level. Beware, O oh ye models and influencers of Instagram, this raccoon is coming for your jobs. Our next footage features two teenagers embarking on a nighttime adventure into the woods. During their journey, they stumble upon a white eye mask, an unusual find they couldn't resist picking up. Unfazed, they journeyed deeper into the forest, only to stumble upon another mask. This time, it was a full-face white mask suspended from a tree branch. Now, if it were me, I might have questioned the wisdom of continuing that midnight expedition, but not these brave souls. They pressed on, delving further into the woods. Suddenly, as if conjured from thin air, another mask materializes from the underbrush, sending icy shivers down their spines and forcing them to flee. But this mask was different. It bore an eerie resemblance to someone wearing it, yet the all-encompassing darkness made confirming their sight an elusive challenge. Let's ponder the possibilities now, shall we? Could this be the work of a mischievous forest spirit playing tricks on unsuspecting wanderers? Or maybe it's the lingering spirit of a victim from a long-forgotten woods ritual stirred by the eerie glow of the moon? It's a puzzle. But within the paranormal community, a sense of mystery and unease has taken root, suggesting something odd and unsettling might be at play in those woods. However, we find it a bit hard to swallow. While we're all about the paranormal and eerie, this video does seem a tad fabricated. Yet, there's always room for doubt, isn't there? What do you think is going on here, though? Now this next footage isn't exactly a trail cam capture. It's captured by a security cam in a River Hill residence, and trust me, it's just as thrilling. In fact, have a look. Did you see it? On the left side of the clip, right as the clip kicks off, a brilliant blue streaks upward into the sky and swiftly vanishes towards the left. I don't know about you, but that looks like a spaceship going into hyperdrive. I was nearly convinced it was a hoax until I came across comments from others who claimed to have seen similar around the same time this was recorded. One user on the platform where this was shared said, I drove my husband to work on Saturday at 4 a.m. and saw some lights like a train, at least that's how my husband referred to it. It was long and in a line and it was moving in slow motion, falling and then suddenly disappearing, so I'm thinking it was activity from that Friday night. Could we really be having an alien situation on our hands? Tell us what you think in the comments section. Hearing animals, especially predators, in the woods is no strange phenomenon. It's actually expected and a nice experience if you're expecting it or can at least tell what creature is howling. But what if you hear constant howling and can't make out the creature? What if it gets closer each day and you are sure it's none of the animals in that particular region? Well, you panic. At least that's what I would do. Taking a look at this trail cam footage, it looks like all there is to it is a deer grazing and having the time of its life and only moving away because it's had enough. Enhancing the audio in this video only reveals something else, something rather disturbing. We hear something that sounds like a mix between a howl, a bark, and a roar. My mind immediately goes to wolves, but it sounds like it could be something more. Natives of the area don't believe they're wolves. I'm tempted to think of Bigfoot, but there is no evidence to support this. What do you think is making those sounds? Please share in the comments section. In the wild, usually the predators have the upper hand over prey, but that doesn't mean that these predators are safe from other predators. This coyote learned that the hard way. This trail cam footage shows a coyote roaming through the forest when all of a sudden, a lynx appears behind it and attacks. 
The two animals go at each other's throats with the lynx swiping its sharp claws and the coyote relying on its fast jaws. All things being equal, the two predators will avoid each other if possible. But when resources are scarce, the lynx wastes no time in defending its territory or killing invaders. This is probably what's happening in this footage. Fortunately for the coyote, however, it has the opportunity to escape with its life, knowing very well that it stood no chance against the lynx in a one-on-one -on -one battle. I'm pretty sure the coyote will be very careful the next time it ventures into unfamiliar territory. What would your reaction be if you spotted Tinkerbell gracefully flying in your backyard? Well, the following footage was captured by a homeowner's security camera in their backyard. An insect initially appeared fluttering across the camera's field of view, but as the recording continued, it became evident that this was no ordinary insect. The peculiar creature exhibited human-like features, a distinct head, two arms, and a pair of legs reminiscent of a fairy minus the iconic pixie dust. The creature circled the camera lens almost as if it intentionally sought to be noticed before gracefully taking flight and disappearing into the surroundings. But wait a second, before we start believing that our backyard has become the secret gateway to enchanted worlds, let's hit the brakes on our imagination for a moment. As mesmerizing as it sounds, the magic might not be as real as we hope. Turns out that insect with human-like features was a masterful creation like a CGI wizardry trick that had us all reaching for our fairy-sized wands. At least that's what the logical guys said to us, the paranormal believing sects. What do you think about this one? Could we be dealing with a real-life fairy, or are the logical guys right? This is all just CGI. While relatively blurry compared to our other footage, this particular clip captures something truly spectacular. In the clip, we see a creature moving towards land in the river. The waves behind the creature shows that it's a large creature and has some serious power to be moving at such speed with such large waves behind it. Upon emerging from the river, a transformation occurs and the creature takes on a human form a form it didn't possess initially. But how is this transformation possible? So, there's just one possible explanation. It's a shapeshifter. But are these beings real? That's hard to assert with absolute certainty. However, considering all that we've encountered on this channel, doubting it might not be a stretch. What do you think, though? Is that a possibility we should accept, or is this simply a cleverly devised hoax? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section, as we'd really love to hear it. What happens when humans block your pathway with unwanted fences? Well, these animals decided to find a way around it. But sometimes finding a way around something involves you going underneath it, especially if it's a fence, and that's what these servants decided to do. Animals are much smarter than we give them credit for. As much as their problem-solving skills are worth celebrating, the problem-creating behaviors of humans must be addressed. These servants were able to find a way around the fence, but not many of them are this lucky. Year in and year out, the migration route of these creatures is blocked by fences put up by humans. They then have to choose longer and more dangerous routes, which reduce their likelihood of surviving their journey. They either get lost or unable to find a good route or are forced to feed on less nutritious and potentially harmful vegetation on the new routes they find. Basically, our selfish behavior puts these animals at risk. This surely does look cute, but we must do better. How do you react when your trail camera captures something very unfamiliar? Well, you involve the online community, and that's exactly what the owner of this trail cam footage did. His camera has captured something rather unexpected and unknown. He went ahead to post it, asking everyone what they thought it was. Naturally, I put on my paranormal glasses first, but they found nothing. This makes me lean in on logic and evidence. Taking a critical look at the captured footage and comparing it to that of other trail cam footage of mountain lions, it looks like we're dealing with a similar creature. The muscle structure, fur, and mode of walking are all similar to that of a mountain lion with the exception of the tail. Many pointed out that it had a bushy tail, and mountain lions do not, but I don't think it's a bushy tail at all. Look at it. It's more likely to have been a normal-sized tail blurred whilst in motion than it is a bushy tail. 
Did we solve the mystery yet? Apparently not. Wondering why? Well, I'll tell you. Sources confirmed that there are no mountain lions in Kentucky, the very area this trail cam footage was captured. This leaves us with more questions than answers. The most pronounced of these questions is, what is this creature and how did it get there? Have answers? Share with us in the comments section. In the heart of the woods, firmly attached to a tree during a mission, two men are about to find themselves face to face with a black bear. Reviewing the footage captured by one of the tree climbers, we observe two black bears scampering up a tall tree as if fleeing for their lives. Meanwhile, two explorers are securely fastened to the tree, calmly watching the spectacle unfold. One bear ventures remarkably close to the man, while the other secures a presumably safe position. The curiosity of the first bear is evident as it tries to comprehend how these humans are perched in the tree without adopting a similar awkward stance. The man closest to the camera appears unperturbed by the black bear's presence, even sharing a momentary giggle as the bear reaches their level. However, the second explorer displays discomfort and seems poised to leap should the bear make a move. Before long, the black bear begins its descent, prompting audible sighs of relief from the two men. I guess not all bears are rowdy. Some like to keep a clean slate and make a good first impression. Or basically, it's a cub and was only curious. In such situations, the danger will be the mum, and it appears these hunters knew. Kudos to them for keeping their cool. How would you have handled being put in such a position in your life? Now prepare for today's dose of cuteness overload, and it's no exaggeration when I say that. I mean, just take a look. Yes, that's an actual puppy getting on the back of a goose and then hugging it. While this is what you might call the unlikeliest of companionships and hugs, it doesn't change the fact that it's an adorable and lovely one. Have you come across any pups or animals having unusual friendships and unions? Please share in the comments section because we'd love to see it. Did that confuse you? Did you feel like you were looking at a buck with an impressive rack, or did the footage make you feel like you were looking at a mutated buck with some sort of weird antler setup? Did the very thought scare you? Well, relax, it's none of those things. It's no mutated buck, and it's certainly no buck with an afro. Is that even possible? What then could be wrong with the antlers of the buck? Well, absolutely nothing. Mr. Buck, you see in the footage, simply got tumbleweed and some sticks stuck in its antlers, which resulted in the look you see. We're not in any way dealing with a mutated buck, yet, but I wouldn't cross it off your list. Who knows what might be looking out there? Did you know that bobcats were good climbers? Well, if you didn't, now you do. The first few seconds of this video have already established that fact. In the trail cam footage, we see a bobcat chasing after a squirrel that seems to have gone up the tree. Under normal circumstances, this should have cemented the escape for the squirrel. At least that's what would have been the case if it were being chased by a coyote or a fox. Not bobcats, though. They too can climb. And they most especially put their climbing skills to good use when they're hunting prey. The bobcat didn't just climb the tree, but also went as far as circling it with the goal of catching the squirrel for a meal. Bobcats are known to be very good climbers, especially when it comes to hunting their prey. This particular bobcat demonstrates this by effortlessly climbing the tree and chasing after the squirrel. Beyond the climb, the bobcat has no problem circling the trunk of the tree just to have its lunch. I didn't even think that was possible. It ended up becoming a hide-and-seek game between the two. Lucky squirrel. What in the world is this? This image was captured on a trail cam. This enigmatic being sports a multitude of legs reminiscent of a spider's delicate dance. The upper half, rich brown, contrasts dramatically with the lower half, which is a striking shade of blue. It's like the universe decided to throw together a cosmic mashup of creature features, combining octopus elegance with spider-like intrigue. And the plot thickens. It's not just the color palette that's raising eyebrows, it's the sheer otherworldly nature of it all. Now, before we start packing our bags for the first contact meeting with our new alien neighbors, let's take a deep breath and step back into the realm of the plausible. 
As much as we want to believe in extraterrestrial creatures or a land-loving octo-spider, we might be dealing with something a bit more down-to-earth. Some in the paranormal community considered the possibility of a new species, yet undiscovered by science, slipping through the cracks of our understanding. Nature, after all, is full of surprises, but we don't think that this is one. We actually think this might be a CGI or AI creation. But that's just us. What do you think? This next capture was posted on a paranormal platform we're on by one user. According to him, his brother captured the photo while on a graveyard shift. And yes, it was an evening shift. Take a look. What do you think that is? Looks like a man, right? But how'd you explain the white overall? What if I told you that this was captured from a location not too far from you in the US? What if I told you this was captured in Midland, Texas? Now I know what you may be thinking, this might be a hoax. I would have thought so too if the individual was trying to shove it down everyone's throat as being authentic. Instead, he was merely asking for help identifying it since his brother used the location. So I look to you. What do you think we're dealing with here? Tell me in the comments section. I don't know about you, but skulls have never been a sign of good omen for me, and I actively avoid them. But what do you do when you wake up one day and find the horns of a ram protruding out of your tree like in this footage? Well, before you call in the witch doctor as I would, you need to understand something. It's believed that people of ancient times did rituals like this and kept the skulls of rams in their trees so they could be absorbed by them. If you woke up and saw the skull of a ram protruding through your tree, this could be the reason, especially if your tree is very old. But what happens if you planted that tree yourself? Well, then I would call the witch doctor if I were you, because that's not normal. But beyond this, if you walked into an area with the rotten skulls of animals like sheep or goats or rams hanging around, I would suggest you get out of there, especially if there are indigenous tribes there. That's how they warn people to leave them alone. The last thing you want is to end up injured or worse because you couldn't read between the lines. Setting up trail cams and recording wildlife seems like fun until the wildlife you're trying to record spots your trail cam and decides to make a quick snack out of it. Unfortunately, this is the situation the owner of this trail cam footage knows all too well. In this footage, a curious fox approaches the trail cam while it's still recording and starts sniffing it. Perhaps he liked what he smelled, because a few seconds later, he starts trying to pull the trail cam out of place. He grabs a cloth-like substance from the setup, plays with it, and then walks back toward the camera. The footage ends abruptly at this point. I don't know about you, but this makes me feel like the trail cam was left in a pretty bad situation after the fox was done with it. Have you ever set up a trail cam in the woods? Have you ever had a similar situation? How did you deal with it? Share with us in the comments section. Explorers often willingly take unnecessary risks in pursuit of capturing diverse footage, even though animals don't have cameras like us. I'm convinced they share our curiosity. They encounter things in the woods, whether it's during the day or night. An example is found in this intriguing video clip recorded deep within the woods under the cloak of night by a trusty trail cam. And here it is right before us, a magnificent grizzly bear circling the very tree that holds our trail cam. Just as you assume the bear is engrossed in its affairs, maybe hunting for a midnight treat, it surprises us all. With a sudden leap, it pounces on the camera, swiftly sending it crashing down and giving it quite the rough ride. Seems like the culprit was none other than the camera's alluring red light, a temptation that proved irresistible to the bear. Bears boast intellect and curiosity. They're skilled at exploring scents, sounds, and, believe it or not, objects too, to evaluate their potential for play or even consumption. In this instance, it seems the camera didn't capture its attention for the playful encounter. Instead, it perceived the camera as a threat and lunged at it, a display of how unpredictable these animals can be. Like we always say here, make sure you keep a safe distance when you meet these majestic beasts, no matter how tempting it is to walk up for them for a hug. Next, we have this peculiar-looking creature that was sighted near a village pilfering food. It appears to have a skin disease and a lengthy tail with some degree of hair. 
In a world where mysterious creatures seem to be making a comeback, our minds naturally start to wonder. Could this be one of those unexplainable enigmas that have slipped through the cracks of conventional understanding? As each trail cam and village sighting reveals no surprises, it's difficult not to consider that this creature could be more than it seems. But if there's more to it, what could that more possibly entail? Is it a mutated creature? A sick one? A paranormal being? Alien? Oh, but hold on, did I just mention aliens? Maybe I'm getting carried away, but you catch my drift. What do you think we're dealing with here? Tell us in the comments section, as we'd love to hear it. Take a look at the next one. This white fur-like looking stuff on the tree was no different. They too were living creepy crawlies. Have you ever encountered creatures like this? How did you react? Share with us in the comments section. How far would you go to satisfy your cravings? Well, however far you intend to go, don't be like this moose. Still on animals stuck in weird places, we have this moose that was found stuck on an apple tree. It had developed quite the taste for the fermented apples and was trying to get the best, which was apparently in the higher branches of the tree. Its quest would, however, end abruptly when the branches it was leaning on for support broke and left him stuck in the tree. What do you do when you're a moose stuck in a tree? Well, you cry out very loudly, and that's exactly what this moose did. Fortunately for it, there were people around who heard its cries and called in the experts. They were able to free it, and the moose had to stay overnight to recoup its strength. Once it was fine, it rushed out of the place so it could go on to its next adventure. I hope it learned its lesson, but then again, a part of me knows it's going to end up doing the same thing elsewhere. I just hope its love for fermented things does not become the death of it. Now let's dive into an intriguing recording captured by a lady in a park. She was there to enjoy the scenery and unwind. Her relaxation was interrupted by an unsettling presence she couldn't identify. This led her to start recording, and the result is what you're about to witness on your screen. The footage shows a head emerging, its gaze fixed on her, only to swiftly retreat back into hiding. The figure, whatever it may be, appeared to engage in a game of peekaboo with a woman documenting the scene. The stalker possessed a pallid head devoid of any discernible hair, while a shadowy neck, possibly a dark scarf, enveloped the area. Deciphering the identity of this mysterious entity proves to be a challenge. Some suspect it might be a rake, whereas others think it's a skinwalker. Looking at it, I'm tempted to think it's a rake too, but I feel skepticism rise in my soul. I feel it's all fake and most probably a setup, but maybe that's just me. What do you think? Next, we have funny footage that will make you smile. Just take a look. Yup, those are bears sitting comfortably in a pool. This may not be a trail camera footage, but boy, does it have the thrill. Given how chill the one filming is, I'm sure it's a regular thing there. Looks cute, doesn't it? How would you react if the local bears visited your pool on a daily basis? Tell us in the comments section. Speaking of funny pictures, ever heard of bearded pigs? No? Well, get ready for a laugh. Yes, those are pigs with a beard, and no, it's not a costume. Bearded pigs, scientifically known as Sus Barbatus, are a unique and interesting species of pig found in the southeast of Asia. Despite the name, they don't sport beards like humans do. Instead, they have long, wiry hair along their jaws, giving them a unique appearance. Have you come across these species of pig before? What do you think of them? Will you be traveling to Asia to see them? Tell us in the comments section. If you have a full beer of spiders, you might want to click away now. If you're still watching, congrats. You're one of the few who can survive the very last moments of this long video. What did you see? Looks like some tree bark and growth on it, or perhaps the face and trunk of a woolly mammoth. But watch closely. Once disturbed, these fine hairs scatter. They're not at all what they look like. Turns out, they're spiders. 
Imagine going camping and finding a cozy looking bench only to sit on and realize there are actually thousands of spiders closely packed together. Now, that's an experience I wouldn't want to have. It's not even one I'd willingly imagine. Can you have too much muscle? If the content of this footage is anything to go by, apparently you can. It's no secret that bull elks become quite large with antlers to match. This helps them protect themselves from all the things trying to make a meal out of them in the wild. When they're not escaping from predators, the muscles and antlers on these majestic creatures are quite the sight to behold. These majestic antlers and muscles, however, seem to have been the undoing of this elk. No one knows what it's running from or where it's headed, but it was evident that the elk must have run into these trees at quite the pace and gotten stuck. There it remained until it lost its life. It couldn't have been running from predators, as they would have made a quick meal of it while it was stuck. It could have been startled by hunters and possibly ended up where it was. Whatever the case, it would have been a slow and painful death, one I wouldn't wish for any creature. Whoever thought being so majestic could be the death of a creature as elegant as this? It's no secret that our world is inhabited by more than just humans. Numerous accounts supported by video or picture evidence have brought forth tales of unearthly beings from extraterrestrials to ghosts and even creatures once believed to be mere myths. In this particular footage, we encounter yet another intriguing account. At the start of the footage, two stray dogs capture our attention as they fix their gaze upon a particular spot, then hastily run off, seemingly spooked by something unseen. And soon enough, the reason behind their sudden departure becomes clear. In the ensuing moments, a peculiar black haze taking the shape of a human figure can be seen moving. What's more, the entity casts a shadow upon one of the nearby houses. This detail raises a perplexing question. If this is indeed a ghostly apparition, it contradicts the notion that ghosts lack shadows. So what could this possibly be? This chilling footage was captured by a security camera in the depths of night when the darkness seemingly invites the mischievous and the malevolent to emerge. Could this be an entity of evil aimlessly roaming the night? If so, one can't help but wonder what other unseen creatures lurk behind our doors or roam the streets while we lay vulnerable and unaware in our slumber. In a dimly lit hallway, a vigilant security camera captures the unsettling presence of a mysterious figure. A At first glance, it remains elusive, crouched and concealed within the obscurity, as if it's intentionally avoiding the piercing light. Yet, with the camera's watchful eye, we can gradually discern its form. This figure, shrouded in darkness, seems to take on an eerie resemblance to a nun. Its intent in this peculiar setting remains unclear, as it meticulously examines its surroundings. With each cautious glance, it becomes apparent that this entity is no ordinary visitor. Unexpected twist, as if bound by some arcane transformation, the entity undergoes a bizarre metamorphosis. It distorts into a larger insect-like form, leaving us both bewildered and bewilderingly disturbed. With a sudden and astonishing speed, it scuttles away into the shadows, disappearing from sight like a startled bug avoiding probing eyes of a curious observer. The mysterious occurrence leaves us with more questions than answers, inviting speculation about its nature and the motives of this cryptic visitor. What could prompt such a perplexing transformation, and where did this being come from? If you wanted proof that the government knows about zombies and is experimenting with them, then this footage is the one for you. That's another thing. You don't want wild animals eating this stuff. No, it's seldom they turn to zombies because it's mostly a human strain, I guess. But. Yeah, it's more of the zombies carrying it, or more of the, um, the animals carrying it to another person, buying a person, kind of like rabies, but... 
If this is to be believed, and if this is true, then we certainly have a zombie apocalypse on our hands. What do you think about what the specialist said? Is this footage real, or is it just a couple of military men making fun of those of us who believe in zombies? Share your thoughts in the comments section. And with that, we end today's episode. Thanks for staying with us. Before you go, are there popular trail cams out there you want us to take a look at? Please tell us in the comments section as we'll be reading. You can also send us a mail of strange and unexplainable videos you may have recorded yourself. Just forward them to classifiedcaptures at gmail.com. We'll upload it in our next episode and give you the credit, unless you want to remain anonymous. We look forward to receiving your content. Like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to share the video with friends and family. See you in the next one.